Uh. Oh, you're awake? You were lucky. You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, <clears throat> I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved you? Because I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed with endings that waver between despair and hope. I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. That is why I allowed myself to be captured, after all. So you did it on purpose? But you aren't finished yet, right? Nothing has really changed since you began. So I need you to continue working hard. So that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you. So I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. There is somewhere I need to be later. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone like me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. emotions. Or perhaps you're forcing yourself to feel something in a situation like this. Well, not that it matters. Anyway, I leave the rest to you. Though I'm sure the next time I see you, you'll be someone else entirely. I hope you can at least have a little fun. I hope the future is going to be one you can't predict.
was waiting to hear from you. I'm so relieved. I'm glad you're safe, Byakuya. Well, safe enough, I suppose. Are you outside Toa City? You must be if this connection is secure, right? Yeah. I used the secret passageway under the shrine. The captives are safe, thanks to the relative of that idiot we know so well. I'll introduce you to her later. She's much more talented and useful than he is. What's your position? I'll send rescue right away. Before you do, there's something you need to know. Huh? Komaru Naegi and Toko Fukawa are not with me. Not with you? Why? I'll let her explain. Her? She asked that I send you this message. It might be garbled a bit, but it'll do. Um, can you see me, Makoto? You're surprised that I'm not leaving, right? Sorry for making you worry. There's a lot I want to say. But first, let me explain why I'm not there. Why? Why are you bringing up something like that? Do you feel responsible for their revenge? But that wasn't your fault. You can't feel bad about that, not even a little. No, that's not it. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. This is my decision. Then why are you doing this? Didn't you want to get out of this place and live a normal, peaceful life? But now you want to stay here? That's like the complete opposite. You're right. You... It's not because you feel despair. No, of course not. I don't want to get slapped again. Then why? Even I'm not totally sure. But earlier, when I said how I want to save both, all the scary feelings and hesitation I've felt were gone. Even though the odds were against us, for some reason... I felt courage. I think it's because I was confident that that was what I needed to do. But what would happen if I leave this town with you and Byakuya? What would happen if Future Foundation came here to suppress the riot and uncover the secret? And then what would happen if the Remnants of Hope were to find this place? It would turn into a war. Just like Monica said. So you're saying you're going to be this town's hostage in place of master? Until now, I kept relying on you. And I never really got to make decisions on my own. But I was like that even before I met you. I used to give up all the time. But the decision to save everyone was one I made on my own. Of course, I'm scared. And I'm worried. But despite that... I've made up my mind. I won't give up until the very end. I'll make sure I protect both. Idiot. You're awfully optimistic after all this. <sighs> Seriously, what are you thinking? You're just like your brother sometimes. No. I think I got it from you. Huh? Me? You were with me all this time. If I have changed, it's your influence, Toko. For now, I'm going to be fine. This is much better than an imprisoned life regardless. So don't worry about me. Go back with Byakuya. You two are the only ones who can persuade Future Foundation not to interfere here. S so please, don't be mad. What? Of course I'm mad! Jeez. Why do I have to stay behind in a town like this? I... Oh, no, you misunderstood. I meant I'm the one who's gonna stay here. If you're going to stay, there's no way I can leave. I decided to be with you too, remember? Toko, 
Do you really think some brother complex girl like you can be master's substitute? In a hostage trade, you and I are barely enough for one, Master Byakuya. So, I'll stay with you. That's the decision I made, no complaining. But you said you wanted to go home with Byakuya. <laughs> I don't need your concern. Master and I are rock solid. Even if we're apart, our feelings towards each other will never change. Yes, that's correct. Huh? Master Byakuya! It's true what you said. Even if we're apart, my feelings of disgust toward you will never change. Master? So the reason I've decided to stay isn't because someone forced me to. It's a choice I made myself. But I know that I can't just expect things to change right away. Just because I'm staying. I know that I can't become real hope. Like you. So... I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the day you guys defeat the remnants of despair. And come home safe. Uh, but... You don't have to rush or anything, okay? I'll wait until the day you come to pick me up. I have the gun Mr. Byakuya gave me. And... I have my reliable friend Toko, and about mom and dad, I didn't find anything. I went to the torture room later, but it was empty. The film that girl forced me to watch must have been recorded earlier. We're fake. That means there's a chance they're alive and well somewhere, right? Maybe even somewhere in this city. That's what I choose to believe. Okay, sorry, this video is getting pretty long. I guess I should wrap it up. The next time you see me, I might be so grown up you don't even recognize me. Just like how surprised I was when I saw you. See you later, Makoto. So that's the situation. I thought all your sister was good for was cowering in fear. But there you have it. Seriously? Well... She surprised me before. Hey, Makoto. You know what we have to do, right? We have to stop this idiotic war and return here to retrieve them. We wouldn't want to betray their expectations. Yeah, you're right. I've made up my mind, Byakuya. If a situation like this ever happens again, no matter how dangerous the trap, I'm jumping right in. So I can end it properly. With my own two hands. Hearing you say that reminds me of what you said back at the Academy. Huh? Hope keeps going, huh? Fine. I'll partner with you for just a little while. At least, until I've repaid the debt I owe to Toko and your sister. Yeah.
All right then. Hey, you aren't ready yet. D don't shout so early in the morning. You're not really a morning person, are you? Are you secretly staying up late without me? Thanks to your jimmy legs and snoring. I can't get a good night's sleep. I am so not snoring! But it's true I might toss and turn while I'm asleep. And it wasn't just snoring. You were talking in your sleep, saying, Makoto! Lies! Definitely lies! And if you want to get a good night's sleep, why don't you go sleep in your own bed? We're in a hotel. There's plenty of other rooms. Don't be an idiot. What happens if a ghost shows up? Oh, so you're into occult stuff now. Well, you really did get possessed, right? So ghosts do exist, right? <laughs> well, I guess that's just one more thing you're afraid of now. It's all your fault. Come on, let's go. If we don't keep a watchful eye, these people are gonna start fighting again. No time to slack off. What? Well, you're the one who woke up late. Hey! I told you to wait! 